So far, my favorite monitor to use with the new Mac Mini is this behemoth of a monitor. It is the 30 inch Apple Cinema HD display that was, believe it or not, released 21 years ago and in my opinion, holds its own against a lot of the newer monitors that are being released. Now, a few things that this monitor is not. It's not OLED, it is not 4K, it does not have a super high refresh rate, it doesn't have any of the latest bells and whistles that you would expect from a new monitor that you would buy today. But what you are gonna get is Apple's timeless design because this thing is made of aluminum and the best materials. And considering at the time, the price of this thing, you can see that it stood the test of time and it can sit on a desk today and look just as good as all the latest monitors in my opinion. And I think it pairs so well with the new Mac Mini. As you can see, it's got the same exact silver aluminum finish same materials are built into this dis into this display as this Mac Mini. So that is a very cool thing. And you can see with these matching peripherals here, this package is pretty complete. I think it looks very professional and cohesive. And the fact that you can plug this display into this Mac Mini is pretty cool. I know you're wondering what this drive is underneath the Mac Mini. This is from Orico. And they sent me this, it's the Minimate external SSD, and it's specifically designed for the Mac Mini to give extra storage for your Mac Mini. It gives you up to 3,800 megabytes per second read and write. So this gives you that extra speed and that extra storage that you need in your Mac Mini. It perfectly matches the size at the base of the Mac Mini, so you're able to just set it down here and place it underneath your Mac Mini and gain an extra terabyte. It comes with this awesome braided, it's probably the highest quality braided Thunderbolt cable I've ever seen that's given you that high throughput of data transfer. These drives are available in 512, one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabyte sizes. And as I said, 40 gigabits per second of transmission rate, and they perfectly match the fit and finish of your Mac Mini M4. So I highly recommend checking Orico out. I'll leave a link down below to this product so you can purchase this for your Mac Mini. It's an easy way to add extra storage to your Mac Mini, especially if you bought the base model and perhaps you don't wanna go through the pain of installing extra storage on your own inside of the Mac Mini and not knowing if Apple's even gonna support that when Apple pushes out a new update. So sometimes it's better to play it safe and buy extra storage capacity like this. Now what this thing does have is, is it has the older 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which in my opinion, I truly miss having this taller display design that's perfect for productivity and it's perfect for video production and photography in my opinion, because you're able to get more of the vertical up and down aspect of your canvas when you're doing graphic design, photography, and video production. It is a welcome design touch to see a 16 by 10 display. And I wish that more displays today were 16 by 10. All of them kind of default to 16 by nine, which is the standard and is totally fine. But in my opinion, when you see these back, when you see these side by side with a 16 by nine display, it's nice to see that taller dimension. And the fact that it was made so long ago just shows you how amazing Apple's design is. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an Apple fanboy. I'm saying that because you can put this next to a brand new monitor today that you would buy that would cost a thousand dollars plus. And when you set them next to each other, you can touch this display and look at it and notice the beauty of it sitting on your desk. It looks just as good off as it does on. And the fact that this display today looks as good as it does is a real testament to Apple's ingenuity and forward thinking at the time. This display pushed the boundaries of the technology that was available at that time. The fact that it's still here and the fact that it still talks to this Mac Mini is pretty awesome. And the way to get it to connect to this Mac Mini M4 is through this display adapter right here. It's from Club 3D and I'll leave a link down below where you can buy this adapter 
and it works seamlessly with the Mac Mini M4. Now in my other videos, I did see and notice that some of you commented that you purchased this adapter and it, for whatever reason it would not work with your Cinema HD 30 inch display. Now I'm not exactly sure why that is. I'm not sure if Apple, like deep down in the guts of this display and the hardware, there are two different versions of this display. I am not sure, but I'm gonna figure that out and we will figure that out together. To properly demo this display, it took me a while to find 16 by 10 aspect ratio videos on YouTube. So I'll link those two in the description down below. I'm just kind of looping those as I demo this display. I wish more video and cinema was in this 16 by 10 aspect ratio. I personally prefer this larger aspect ratio that gives more top and bottom to the screen. I know Zack Snyder was a fan of these taller aspect ratios when he did the Snyder cut of his Justice League film. I realize that today a lot of the content and the video that you're gonna see is 16 by nine ratio. So it makes sense that a lot of the monitors today are 16 by nine. So tell me what you guys think about this display. The best way to find one of these displays is Facebook Marketplace. I've seen them listed on there, sometimes as low as $50. People will have these in their garage or in their house and it's collecting dust and they just want to get rid of it. So make sure you look out on Facebook Marketplace for these. I have even seen them on eBay but it's hard to imagine getting this shipped in a huge box on eBay unless it's packed exceptionally well to receive it in one piece. Now, if it comes in the original box, that's a different story, but that's even more rare to find that. But there are a lot of these floating around. Just make sure you get the right one, and if you are, and you're able to score one for 50 or $100, and then buy the Club 3D adapter, you have, in my opinion, uh, an exceptional display for this Mac Mini. The only thing is, is you have to calibrate it and there are ways to calibrate it so that it matches more so the D65 color space, which is more of the standard for digital design, photography, and video production. And let me know if you need that color profile that I use to calibrate mine. Now, these color profiles may or may not match the display that you have. Every display is a little bit different. And when the calibration is done, it's being done for that specific panel. But let me know if you would like that and I will email it to you so you can try it for yourself on your Cinema HD display. Thank you again to Orico for sponsoring this video and sending me this one terabyte storage solution for your Mac Mini. I think it's a great option for us that want to add some extra storage to our Mac Mini, but we don't want to pop this thing open and void our warranty. We just want to add one terabyte or four terabytes to a, an already great product. So special shout out to them today. If you have any questions about the Orico one terabyte Mini Mate. What is this thing called? Yeah, the Mini Mate external SSD. If you have any questions about it, let me know down below. And let me know if you have any questions about the Apple 30 inch Cinema HD display and especially when it's paired with the Mac Mini M4. And I will answer those questions in the comments. And thank you guys so much for joining me today for this quick video to talk about this great pairing symbiosis of Apple design that stands the test of time. It's just amazing and I love it so much to see these products being used today. The fact that you can find one of these old Cinema HD displays, dust them off and give them a whole new life. This thing may last another 20 years. I probably think it will, honestly, because it's built like a tank. It's built way better than any of the other displays that I've tested recently. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this short video to talk about the Apple Cinema HD 30 inch display. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like today's content and ring that bell to get notified when I drop new content and I'll see all of you guys on my next video.